Hey guys, it's the Running Rocker here, going to give you a short tutorial on how to create these half cut bottles that you're seeing around the place. Um, I'm going to show you two things in this tutorial. One is the frosted edge and the other one is the nice smooth edge like this. Um, what you're going to need is progressively finer sandpaper. This is P2500 and you're going to need a Dremel, some gloves and some safety glasses are definitely recommended. And then this lovely device here is literally designed to just cut bottles. There will be a link down below where you can buy it on Amazon and the name of it will be there. Last but not least, you're gonna need a way of how to create hot, hot water and a source of cold water as well. All right, before we go on to cut the bottle, you first need to set up this little cut, bottle cutting apparatus. So take off the lid, figure out how far down you want to cut it. So you want to do it here and here. Slide it down to you figure out, I want it just above the label there. Make sure you try and get that as close to a 90 degree angle as you can up here and then tighten it up. Next, <clears throat> you undo this bit and what you want to do is to have this part of the blade here be in the middle of the bottle and then this touching on the side. So right there is where I want this to be tightened. And now just double check. See here I need to get a bit closer to the bottle because it's angling this way. So I need to move it about a centimeter closer. And now that that's set up, you want to go and put on your safety glasses because here's where shards of glass start to fly about the place. And sometimes I like to put one glove on on the one that's holding the bottle because I have had a bottle smash on me before while I was holding it. Luckily, I didn't cut my hand, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Anyway, next thing is you put this in. What you're going to do is firmly press. Don't push, don't push too hard now. And you're going to spin the bottle till you get back to the exact same point where you started. You will hear a noise difference once you start cutting over the score line again. You don't want to go over the same score line because that gives you a very bad cut and more probability of it not working later on. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear the scoring. about to hit the score line again there now you stop and as you see there that's a score all the way around the bottle and that's all that's needed and then you go on to the next step okay guys once you have your boiling water you need your flowing cold water as well and then your bottle and along the score line, you are going to slowly pour this hot water onto it and then quickly quench it and then quickly again pour it. The more precise you are with the heat, the better the results as well. And the more sudden the change, the better the results as well. There is chances of this fracturing in many different ways. So I always try and hold it away from the cut up there as well as it being really hot water. I put cold water in a bowl here to catch the bottle lid dropping because I like to make little cups out of those. Anyway, let's get straight to it. You should hear a little cracking sound. Make sure you spin the bottle. And there, I can already tell that this is going to be a failed attempt because you can see the crack. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I've got my crack going off the score line. Now, I don't like to continue with things that I know that are already going to be a failed attempt. So I'm just going to put this aside, get the other bottles that I have and show you the attempt that works. This one looks like it's going to work.
And there you go, a perfectly cut edge of a bottle right there, ready to go and file on. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you how to basically do both finishes of the bottle rim, both the frosted and the smooth. And I'm gonna show you them both on the same rim. There's a little tip on this rim that I'm just gonna basically ignore. I'm just gonna use it either side of that. And anyway, first of all, put on your safety glasses, even though you're gonna look like you're totally crazy, but it's all good. Put on your gloves, because this can get a little bit dangerous. And I'm first going to show you the frosted glass. So for the frosted glass, I'd really advise a, a mask of some sort. I'm actually using this Egyptian tea cloth thing that I got a long time ago. And anyway, I can't really talk come past once I turn this on. So the trick is to have it at a moderate speed, not too fast, but definitely not too slow. If it's too slow, it'll chip the glass. And then just at an angle, do one side, then do the other side, then do the over the top, and then round it off how you want. You can have it edged, so it's raised on this side, you can have it totally round or you can have it edged so that it's raised on that side. Anyway, I'm gonna have it rounded. So I'm gonna do half of this rounded and then I'm going to do one quarter of this one here as well rounded. And that's gonna be the one that's going to be a mixture of Dremel and sandpaper. And the other one's gonna be just sandpaper and you'll see the time wise, how long it takes. And let's go. And there you have the frosted edge one. As you see, hopefully I can get it in focus, there you go. That's the frosted edge. That's how it is at the beginning. Those with those sharp edges, this here, if I put my finger across there, would cut me immediately. So now I'm gonna show you from this point onwards, this way, I'm going to do the hand sanding, including on this bit here. So hand sanding, start with your roughest grain of paper. So that is my roughest. You wanna use the smoothest possible, um, it's called wet and dry, or sometimes it's called emery paper, but don't get emery cloth, because emery cloth is sometimes really big, and that will just chip the edge and it won't really work out. So the best way to do this is basically, you roll it up, Roll it up like so, and it's called wet and dry for a reason. So I'm just gonna go and put a little bit of water on. 
So I've wet my finger and all you have to do is basically put on a little bit like that and that is all that's needed. And now it's the slow process of getting your bottle and just going for it. The reason why you wet it is because it's going to create this paste and this paste is a super abrasive material which basically does two times the amount of work that a normal sandpaper would do anyway. So I'm going to have to get a little glass of water to bring over here. Sometimes you might just want to just even dip the entire paper. As you see, it's making that paste right there. It looks like dirty water basically, but it's not, it's paste. This can stain the label if you're wanting to keep the label. Each bottle from start to finish, um, if you're doing it by Dremel, it can take just half an hour to make the frosted effect as well. Or if you're doing this, this itself can actually just take half an hour to an hour to accomplish along an entire edge perfectly. Um, and it takes a lot of time and will tire you out, but I guess if you guys are wanting to sell these, for instance, you can sell the ones that have got rounded smooth edge more expensively. And you've got to be careful when you run your finger like this. It's just, you can tell where the sharp edges are then. And then when you get to the blue bit of the paper, that's when you know you've got to change the location. Now, I'm slightly rushing this because I just want to make you guys have a lovely video so you can go on and do this yourself. But I'm now on the finest sandpaper here. All right, I'm gonna go and give this a little rinse and then I shall show you the final product. Well, there you have it guys. That's how to create a half glass bottle, a half bottle glass, I mean. And as you see, this edge right here, that is how it will look like if you just use sandpaper, the back right edge, that one there, is actually ground down with the Dremel and sandpaper. The one up this entire side is just the Dremel rounded bevel edges. So this here on the left is how the just the Dremel will affect the bottle. And if you spend a little bit more time doing the hand sanding, you can get an edge that looks a bit more like this one here. And that is how you make your half bottle glasses. I hope that helps. If it has, please thumb up and subscribe if you like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. And as always, keep on rocking. Bye. So I'm sure a lot of you are gonna ask questions of this isn't free, um, you have to buy that thing, what not. Well, at no point did I say this was going to be free in this video. In all honesty, in this video is pretty much just the best way of doing it and how to get the best results most of the time without having to use fire and string or having to build some weird contraption to go and build, cut bottles or having to grind it down using a very weird way that could be actually very dangerous. So, yeah. Um, I'm not saying that those ways aren't good for what they do, they're great, but this is just the easiest way that I was able to find in my own research. I've tried all those others, they just weren't even worth making a video to show you guys how to do it because I knew there must have been a better way. And yeah, anyway, that's it for the extras and enough of me babbling across. Just go and watch my other videos. Bye! <laughs>